I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters. Don't beat yourself up behind mistakes. You take responsibility for all actions. We move forward. Don't let the past dictate your present. And also, don't allow the things that happen in your past to affect your future. Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay CN, coming back with another one, man. And guess what? The Lord woke us up this morning. Man, we already winning. So I got to show appreciation to the Most High, man, for waking us up. You know what I mean? We was blessed with another opportunity. But real fast, though, listen, man. I want to tell y'all real quick, man, do not let your past dictate your future. Do not let your past dictate your future. The past is very important, right? We know that because the things that we've been through is what shape us today, you know, but there's people out there, right, that will take your past. They will take your past and try to form it as a weapon against you. They will bring your past up. You know, they will bring things that you done up, you know, that you done back then. They will bring it up today. You know, even though you are a different person, even though you move past that, a lot of people will try to weaponize your past. They'll try to bring you back, especially when they see you grown and elevating from that. So they'll try to suck you back into that. But you can't let the things that happened in your past dictate your future you know what i'm saying you're a different person now you elevated i'm not saying you need to run from your past your past is your past you know what i mean over here we accept responsibility for everything that we've done you know we hold ourselves accountable over here so do not be ashamed of anything that you've been through in your past if you stand in here today if you stand in here today don't be ashamed of anything that you did back then you know, what's done is done. You got to move past it. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I don't like? I don't like those people, right, that use their past to make excuses for how they are today. You know what I'm saying? You ever have somebody, like, especially, like, in relationships or people you know, like, you will have people, right, That'll do some grimy shit to you and then they apologize and be like, man, you know, what I mean, it's just, man, you know how I was brought up, man. You know, I just can't help myself or a female. Right. You in a relationship. She lashing out and doing all this extra shit. You know what I'm saying? And she would do something to you and then to blame it on her insecurities from what happened to her in her past relationships. That's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. That has nothing to do with you. Other people's actions and they past that they've been through has nothing to do with you. So I don't like when people try to use what happened to them in their past as an excuse and a and reason for why they behave the way they do today. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. That Don't, don't do that. That's, a, that's an excuse. You want to act the way you act now. You just use that as an excuse. You use your past as a reason and your past shouldn't be no reason for why you act the way you act today unless it's in a positive way because you learned from it but how you how this happened in your past and you didn't learn from it and and and, and this is the reason why you ha why you behave the way you behave in a negative way or do negative things because of your negative past what sense do that make so you do negative shit because of your negative past and the negative things that you went through. Nah, dog, that ain't no excuse. That ain't no excuse. And you ain't go pull no fucking wool over my head. And, and I'm just supposed to be like, oh, well, I understand. Nah, nah, you supposed to learn from your past. You are supposed to take that negative shit from your past and just fucking induce it in your future and then fucking act out because that's what happened back then. You know what I'm saying? So you got to stay away from people that try to that try to pull that shit too. You got to stay away from people that try to pull that in these relationships, these friendships, these family ships. Listen, I ain't taking none of it. 
You know what I'm saying? Because if you can accept your past, right, you learn from it and you grew from it, listen, that's how you do it. That's God-like. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. That's how you do it. That's grown man shit. That's grown man shit. But if 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 if, if it's other people out there that's around you that like to use that as an excuse, nah, man, you can't accept that. You can't accept that. You know, so understand, man, your past do not should not dictate your future. It should not. What's in the past is in the past. You growing, you elevating. You know what I'm saying? You got your knowledge up. You ain't you ain't you ain't thinking about that. All you thinking about is moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. That's it. You know, and, and people need to understand that. I understand it. Listen, if I let my past dictate my future, then guess what? I still be fucked up. I still be fucked up. I still be an alcoholic. Okay, I still be a drug addict. I still be a porn addict. I still be fapping. I would never be, you know, I wouldn't be elevating any way, shape, or form. I still be messed up just from those past traumas. You know what I'm saying? And the shit that I done put myself through. So that ain't no excuse. That ain't I can't use that as an excuse to not get closer to the most high and start elevating in this world, start elevating myself and, and bettering myself. No, I don't want to hear it. You know, I don't want to hear about the past shit that you've been through. If you ain't trying to change that shit, then guess what? You can get away from me. Get away from me. You ain't trying to change that shit, then go somewhere else, be by yourself, and keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Just leave other people out of it. Leave your kids out of it. Leave your family out of it. Leave everybody else out of it if you're going to be on that bullshit and be, and be stuck in your past and let that dictate your future for why you still messed up. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just facts. We got to grow up. We got to elevate from this shit, man. All of us, all of us, all of us started somewhere. All of us have failed. A lot of us have hit rock bottom. But we ain't stuck in that, is we? No. We ain't stuck on that. We can't be. A lot of us that found these, you know what I'm saying, that found, you know what I mean, no fat, semen retention, all of that shit. Are we going to dwell on where we was at? No, nah, man, you know, sit there and reminisce on when we was doing what we was doing. No, you know why we won't? Because we realized that that was hindering us and hurting us. We realized that that wasn't, help, well, none of that stuff helping us elevate. So guess what? We're going to move past it. We remember it, We gonna, but we learn from it. We learn from it. And that's why we fight urges off and do all that other shit because we know, we know that ain't good for us. But imagine somebody that don't learn from nothing, that give in to these urges to, and, and temptation that we deal with on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand, man, yeah, hey, must can't be using that as an excuse either. You either learned from it or you didn't. If you didn't learn from it, damn, that's, that's, that's. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. But we can't let that shit back there dictate now, today, tomorrow, the next day. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if if if, if we're gonna have tomorrow and the day after that and the day after that. So today, today, we gonna move past that and we're gonna continue to shine just like the sun, just like the most high. You know what I mean? And be thankful that we have another day to live and appreciate the opportunity that we have. That's why I tell y'all every morning, man, listen, appreciate the opportunity that we have. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. Look at that. You got to appreciate that. You know what I mean? All of us that's up watching this video. We got an opportunity. We got an opportunity and we got to seize these opportunities and take advantage of it while we're here. We ain't got time to live back there when we're here right now. So understand that. Understand that. And like I said, man, anybody that, 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 that try to use what happened to them in the past, right, as a reason for why... They are where they at today 
in a negative way, you get away from them. Because that's going to be their excuse every time. They're not trying to elevate like you, bro. And when they ain't trying to elevate like you, you got to keep it moving. You can't be having these, these balls and chains just connected to you. Everybody, there's too many people that's connected to these, to these weights, to these heavy balls and chains. And they can't move up because they feel that they need these people that ain't helping in any way, shape, or form. You got to let that shit go. You got to break away those chains. Otherwise, how you going how you going to go up? How you going to get where you trying to go? You not. You not. And most of those people that's keeping you down, guess what? I guarantee that they using their past as an excuse for why they can't and not trying to elevate with you. So you got to break them away, man. And that's my word, man. My name JC and the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. I got that more better blues, I wanna do better. My aim set for the sky, so I wrote two letters.